I would love to continue telling the American born Chinese story. We have so much left to tell, but I hope to also inspire for there to be American born Cuban, American born Balinese, whatever, right? Kind of have this American born become uh, a spin off franchise of its own. And I would just love to keep working with talented people. Oh, everyone aspires to be an Oscar winner or an Emmy winner, and it's all great. And I, I, you know, I have such immense privilege of working alongside all the award winners. Um, but I think to me, what's really meaningful is seeing others finding comfort in the series and the features that I get to be a part of. And I just remember, I was so comforted by watching Grace Anatomy. I was so comforted because I was in such pain from my, you know, from my fracture leg, and I just wanted some, some TV comfort. And then fast forward a few years, we were working on Grace Anatomy, and that was one of the best. Um, I worked at the Apple Store as a salesperson, and um, for a brief amount of time, right, I was. Back in the back of the house, fixing iPods when those were big things. Um, a lot of assisting work. I used to edit as well. I think editing was something that was the closest to what I wanted to do in the world of visual effects. But it wasn't, you know, it wasn't kind of giving me the space to develop the visual language how I wanted to work. But in doing all those jobs, I never really liked them as much as I love visual effects world and how we you know you can meet up with someone in this virtual chat room and walk next to them and chat and type and everything and I think there's a lot of amazing work coming out right now of capturing reality right because so, you have to have enough data before you can put your own spin on it and right now there's so much great development on making the digital human to look and feel like how we know humans to look like. And I'm excited to see the development of gender as a big part of diversity, right? And as someone in my platform and in my position, I always talk about disability advocacy because there's no one look for disability. And you cannot just be disabled. You're always something, something and, right? And to normalize things like mental health, right? I mean, everyone I know has anxiety. Let's talk about it. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing for your heart to race before you respond to an email. That's okay. That's normal, right? Talk about things like neurodiversity. There are different ways our brains are wired. That's a good thing, right? And if anything, you want everyone on your team to bring something different to complete the circle. And so to really think about diversity in the non-apparent ways.